Hi, this is problem 20 from the 2019-12A. Real numbers between 0 and 1 inclusive are chosen in the following manner. A fair coin is flipped if it lands heads, then it is flipped again, and the chosen number is 0 if the second flip is heads, and 1 if the second flip is tails. On the other hand, if the first coin flip is tails, then the number is chosen uniformly at random from the closed interval 0 to 1. Two random numbers x and y are chosen independently in this manner. What is the probability that x minus y absolute is greater than 1 half? Oh boy, this is a head scratcher. So this information is too complicated for my simple brain, so I have to diagram this out. So we have a coin that we're going to flip, and if it's heads, we're going to flip it again. And if it lands heads, we're going to assign the number 0. If it's tails, we're going to assign the number 1. If the first flip was tails, well, then we're going to choose a number from 0 to 1 uniformly. And let's see how we can represent all this information. Another way to draw this is to draw it on one axis and just say that on the left, we have a one quarter chance of choosing a zero. On the right, we have a one quarter chance of choosing a one. And in the middle, we have a one half chance of choosing the number uniformly from zero to one. And that's a little improvement over this, but I, I like a better drawing than this to be the following. What if we break this up into four boxes as follows. What if we draw this as four equiprobable boxes? We have a 25% chance of choosing a zero. We have a 25% chance of choosing a one. We have a 25% chance of choosing a number uniformly from zero to one half. And we also have a 25% chance of choosing a number uniformly from one half to one. So I like this the best because since these boxes are equiprobable, quarter probability of each, that means that when we take the y variable, let's call that the x variable, when we take the y variable and cross that using the same description as the x variable, 0, 1, uniform probability from 0 to 1 half, uniform probabilities from 1 half to 1, what we now have is equal probable boxes on the y-axis, equal probable boxes on the x-axis. So we can form now a table of 16 equal probable cross boxes to work out this probability question. Now we're looking for the condition that the absolute x minus y is greater than a half. So let's work out the easy cases first. If y is 1 and x is 0, that's always going to be satisfied. So let's shade that in. If x is 1 and y is 0, that's always going to be satisfied. Let's shade that in. Uh, likewise, if y is 0 and x is in its upper range of the uniform distribution, that too will satisfy the inequality. And likewise, we can fill in the other boxes. We also have boxes that we know are not true. If x and y are both 0, that doesn't work. This portion of the uniform distribution against x of 0 doesn't work. That 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 doesn't work. These two boxes are kind of tricky because we notice that for this box, if x is to the 0 portion of its uniform distribution, then almost the entire y range will be satisfied. So we have a little sliver here for that. And as x becomes larger in its uniform distribution, we have less of the y distribution that's available. So the little sliver starts shrinking and shrinks all the way linearly to 0. So essentially, we have half a box here. And by the same analysis, you're going to end up with a half a box here. This portion, again, is not satisfied. And so that maps out the probability area of the regions of the x and the y variable that satisfy this inequality. 
These are equal equiprobable boxes. We have 16 of them. We have to add up the area. We have three whole boxes or six whole boxes plus two half boxes, seven out of 16 total boxes. That's our probability, choice B.